And for the first demonstration, I need a very brave volunteer. Very brave. OK, come down here. Turn around. What's your name? I'm sorry? Chris. OK, Chris, uh, is science one of your favorite subjects? It is, huh? You going to be a scientist when you're a little older? Oh, that's great. What kind? Still thinking about that one, huh? Well, you know, you have a long time to worry about that. Uh, uh, Chris, have you ever gone bowling? You know bowling? Yeah. yeah. Ah, you know that sport. Yeah. You good at it? Yeah. OK, great. We're going to take you bowling. Go over to my assistant, Mr. Lovell. While we make a bowling ball pendulum, it's a bowling ball, weighs about 16 pounds, suspended from a wire from the ceiling so it can swing back and forth. And that's what we call a pendulum. Now Chris, what we'd like you to do is hold that right by your nose. Are you strong enough to do that? Might have to help you a little bit. <laughs> we'll help you. OK, now when I say I want you to let go, are you ready? OK, let go. Put your hands down by your side and don't move. <laughs> Once more. Thank you, Chris. Now, of course, we could do that because of a very important principle called the conservation of energy. We know that the bowling ball started with a certain amount of energy, and when it comes back, it can come back with no more than that amount of energy.